I'm really excited. I, uh, I've been completely thrilled with the outpouring of all the city council members and mayors uh, across the state uh, that have uh, been communicating, saying they were waiting for uh, somebody to come out and do this. I think that's the shot heard around the state of California, so they absolutely inspired me, and I reached out to them right away. Now all Orange County cities are coming out, and they want to come out, up out, opt out the, um, against this California's bad law. Well, the revolt in California against California's sanctuary law, it continues. It's a story we broke several weeks ago. Now the city of Escondido in San Diego County, it's voting to support the White House's lawsuit against California's sanctuary laws. And the list of California cities opposing those state policies now includes Escondido, Orange County, Los Alamitos, Aliso Viejo, and Huntington Beach. Joining me now is the mayor of Huntington Beach. He is Michael Posey. Good to see you, Mayor. Good to see you too, Liz. Thanks for having me on. And yes, we have really, I think, ignited a firestorm in Orange County. Uh, I was in Sacramento September 15th, the day that this uh, Senate Bill 54 was being debated on the assembly floor. Came back from Sacramento a little bit upset and a few weeks later ended up uh, having a conversation with our mayor pro tem, Eric Peterson, our city attorney, Michael Gates. We talked about what could we do, and uh, between now, or between then and now, uh, we came up with the solution about suing the state of California over the constitutional overreach of Senate Bill 54. And what's particularly troubling to me in that bill is the carve out of those that should be remanded to ICE that fall under the new category imposed by Proposition 47. And that proposition voted on by the voters to decriminalize many felonies to misdemeanors. Uh, precludes us from from cooperation, and so we've got. Wait, stay in that, Mayor. Hang on a second. So what? Yes, sir. Wait a second. Yes, we didn't know about this. So they're taking felonies in California and dropping them to misdemeanors. What level of felonies are we talking about here? Well, I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, Proposition 47 was named inaptly the Safe Schools and Communities Act, and and a couple of the felonies are uh, uh, grand theft, which was uh, or petty theft has been elevated to $950. So if you steal something that's worth $949, you don't get arrested and, and taken to jail. You get a ticket. It's a misdemeanor. Oh, come you could, that you, is, you could, that's you, unbelievable that that's going on, Mayor. I mean, it's, it's, thank you for bringing this, that to our attention. But to, we want to get to the sanctuary policies. That's an interesting mm -hmm. layer to it. Why, is, why does your city oppose California's sanctuary policies? Well, we're really opposing uh, maybe not so much the sanctuary policy. We're, pro we're, we're, we're proposing to uh, have the constitutional overreach overruled. That's really our issue. The, the, but why the don't you, how come you don't like the policy? How come you guys don't like the sanctuary policies? Because it, it, what, this, what Kevin DeLeon wanted us to do is not cooperate with Immigration Customs Enforcement mm -hmm. and remand those dangerous people back to uh, ICE for potential deportation. They, want, they would prefer that those uh, individuals remain within the community, and we want to maintain public safety. That's what we're charged okay. with as elected officials. Mayor, to your mm -hmm. point, one of Escondido's passionate citizens got really upset speaking out last night at just about what you're talking about. Watch. I speak to you as an immigrant myself. I came to this country 45 years ago with me and my mother, okay? 45 years ago, we were not offered sanctuary. We were not offered an easier, softer way, okay? We were told you have to be an American citizen, and here's what you have to do. And we did it. We worked hard, and we put in our time, okay? And we now, I now have a piece of paper hanging on my wall called a naturalization certificate that says I am a proud United States American citizen. And if I can do it, every single person that's a dreamer in this room can do it. Every person that's undocumented in this room, they could do it too. All right, so is he right? Are legislators ignoring the rights of actual citizens here? It would seem to be they're ignoring the rights not only of that, but of law-abiding citizens and decriminalizing. I mean, we had started with Assembly Bill 109. That goes back four years ago, where it was called prison realignment. And uh, the, the legislature and Jerry Brown released about 50,000 prisoners from California state prisons and sent them back to the cities and counties with us to deal with. That was, that was the first step down the slippery slope. That was followed, of course, by Proposition 47. And I've got Proposition 57 that released sex offenders back on the streets. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, Senate Bill 54 giving protections to those uh, 
that, that, that's, that's giving protection. So we're, okay. we're really just beginning this long fight. Mayor, it's great to have you on. Can you come back soon? We want you back on the show. The mayor of Huntington Beach, Michael Posey. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for coming on.